What's up kiddos? Trobro is back with another e-learning with Trobro and today we're going to be looking at how to draw Gus from Cinderella, also known as Gus Gus. And you might have also noticed that I am in the art room. That is right, I am at school getting ready for the year to start. I'm super excited about drawing. So let's go ahead and get started drawing Gus Gus. Alright, so I got my picture of Gus here on the left and I went ahead and I traced the simple shapes that make up his body and his head. So I'm not going to be looking at any of the small little details. What I want to look at is the basic shapes that make up his arms, his body, his head, and his feet. Alright, so this is going to help me as I start to draw. I'm going to make sure that I'm drawing lightly because I'm going to have to erase some of these lines. Like that little plus sign that's in the middle of Gus's head, it doesn't actually go there. What it does is it helps me place his eyes and his nose and his mouth here in a second. So as I start drawing his head here on the left, I want to draw that kind of weird potato type shape of his head. It's a little... uh. Uh, organic shape but that's okay it's not like a real circle which is a geometric shape this is organic so it's kind of like weird it's lopsided a little bit and so I'm gonna draw it the best that I see it over here on the left and then when I'm done I'm gonna draw that little plus sign and that's gonna help me place his eyes and his nose and his mouth now don't forget that this is a YouTube video so if you feel like I'm going too fast you can pause it catch up or you can rewind it and see how I draw it again all right but now I want to draw his body his shape of his body is kind of like a big circle and it overlaps a little bit with his head and you can kind of see that and that's going to help me draw his mouth a little bit because when you draw that circle over his head it creates two new shapes you see those two shapes on the left and the right of that plus sign in his head i'm always looking for those shapes that i see on my left all right, so Gus's arm right here kind of has like a Dorito shape to me. It's kind of like a triangle, and it tapers off. It kind of gets skinnier as it gets close to his wrist, and then his palm is just going to be a circle. And then you kind of notice that for his fingers, instead of trying to draw individual fingers, I kind of just trace like this fan-type shape, and that's going to help me fit all of his fingers and make sure that they're all the right length, all right? There's a big word that I always use called proportions to make sure the proportions are right. That means his fingers are the right size compared to the rest of his body because if you draw something wrong you usually know right away and that's usually because the proportions are off so I'm gonna go ahead and draw his arm on the other side kind of the same way it's kind of this uh, kind of skinny Dorito shape that goes to this little oval that is his palm and Gus's left palm is basically the exact same as his right little egg shape right there at the end of your Dorito and then the fan and we're gonna fill in the fingers and when we do that when we bring back that picture of Gus um, you know this fan is really gonna help us draw his fingers and make sure they're in the right proportion and size so when I look at the blue outline on the left I kinda notice that Gus's belly kinda goes out a little bit farther because it's like kinda right below the fan like they're about at the same length so I gotta stick this belly out just a little bit farther and then I'm gonna start drawing Gus's leg and just like his arms they're kind of a Dorito shape or at least this one right here the one that's sticking out it's kinda like a, a triangle that has kind of a curve to it and then his foot it looks kinda like a jelly bean or uh, maybe a kidney bean Kind of, it gets skinny. It's kind of like an oval that's kind of like curved on the top and the bottom. Now Gus is so short that his other leg is not very long. It kind of just comes out. It's kind of like a little nub. And at the end of the nub, you've got his little shoe on. And I'm going to draw that. And I'm just going to have to kind of look at the shapes that I see and try to recreate it the best I can. I don't know how I would compare these two. It looks kind of like maybe a banana and then kind of a little shoe on the end of the banana maybe. All right, now that I got all the shapes done, let's bring back our picture of Gus and let's start trying to draw all those details that make Gus Gus look so cute. And I'm going to kind of start with his nose. And if you look, the top of his snout, like the thing that the nose is at the end of, it kind of goes along the same line as that the horizontal line on his face, that little plus sign, like right, his eyes are right on that too, and then his nose is sticking out across his face and it looks kind of like a light bulb type shape it's a little bit wider and a little bit narrower and it's a little skinnier right where it touches his snout all right so I'm going to kind of draw that the best I can a little light bulb shape and then I'm going to follow that horizontal line at the top that makes up that plus sign and then I'm going to do that little cheek line that kind of touches his left eye right there kind of just goes up and then I can draw the bottom of his snout and then when I go to draw the bottom of his snout and his kind of his smile, notice how his smile kind of touches the circle that we drew for his belly. So you know that it goes right along there and touches that and then comes up and then the kind of like the little archway that makes up his smile, it, it's touching that 
horizontal line that his snout's on. It's on the same line. So I'm using all these lines that I'm looking at and trying to draw them and make sure they are in the right spot. And then for her eyes, they are just egg shapes, but do notice that one eye is a little bit bigger than the other. Usually that's a sign that somebody might not all be there. I mean, they're a little crazy, a little kooky. That's okay. We still love them. And then we're going to draw the pupils. And Gus Gus has only two black pupils. There's no iris. There's no glare. Just two little black dots, and they're both touching the inside. So he kind of looks like he's looking at his nose. Have you ever, like, crossed your eyes in to look at the... the the end of your nose that's kind of like what Gus is doing right here he's, he's kind of smiling he's kind of a silly silly mouse all right then I'm gonna go and draw his left eyebrow and that comes along right from the line that kind of goes up from his nose and it turns right into his eyebrow this little black caterpillar and then he's got another one on the right side and it's really close to the eye and then it kind of raises up a little bit so like the the right side of the eyebrow is touching but then the left one kind of goes up a little bit kind of like he's raising the his eyebrow maybe like the rock does the people's brow, the people's eyebrow. All right, and now let's draw his. Uh, I'm gonna draw his hair right here. It comes from the top of it. It's right from the plus sign. It's kind of like a little spike, and then it goes down into three little spikes, kind of right by his left eye right there. So I'm always counting, make sure that I'm drawing it the way I see it, and not just how I want it to look. Sometimes you'll just be like, oh, it's hair, and you'll just draw a bunch of little triangles for the hair. But no, I'm counting and making sure that I'm doing it just as I see it. All right, and then Gus's left ear is pretty easy. It's kind of coming like right off of his nose and comes up and then goes down onto his hair. All right, and now I'm going to kind of try to find where his right ear right here is kind of coming off of his body. Like the top of it and the bottom of it, I'm kind of like marking it. And then it's kind of like a light bulb shape too. It kind of goes up and then comes down might be a little bit narrower at the bottom. So I'm just kind of draw another organic shape just the best I see it. It's definitely kind of round and it kind of just comes up and they touch and then there's that little V on the inside. I'll go ahead and draw that. That's not too bad. It's coming right off of the blue line of his head. The V starts right there. All right, then for his hat. His hat is kind of like a triangle shape and then it's got a little like nub that's kind of like flopped over on the top and so I kind of draw that line at the top and then I'm going to kind of go and draw it goes down touches his eyebrow and then goes right to his ear kind of has like a small hill right off of his eyebrow and then I'm going to draw from his ear kind of goes up and has kind of like a little loop kind of like goes over and then goes under and it makes that little like a C shape right there at the end for the little nub and then I will follow through and Gary it all and connect them right here at the top. Kind of just goes up and then they touch. Now on to everybody's favorite thing to draw, hands. And I'm going to start with Gus's. His right hand, his thumb, kind of goes up and has like kind of like a little bulbous thumb, like uh, the very end of his thumb, kind of a hitchhiker's thumb, it looks like. Kind of just comes up, goes around. And then he has three fingers and they're all kind of like hot dog shapes they kind of like go over and then they have like kind of like a round end and it comes back and comes it's kind of like a uh, like mountain shapes like it goes up down up down and i'm kind of just following that circle right there so it kind of goes up hits the end of the fan comes back down and then makes kind of like a v shape goes back makes another hot dog for another finger and then comes back down touches that circle of his palm and then comes back around, and I'm kind of looking at those little white shapes in between his fingers and that blue fan that we drew. Kind of looking at those shapes and trying to make sure that I draw it as much as I can. The closer you can get it to the, the picture on the left, the closer it's going to look like Gus. And then I'm going to draw the little, uh, there's a little line in the, his uh, palm, and if you look at yours, you can kind of see like little lines of wrinkles of where your skin is folded, because usually when you close your fingers or your fist, it makes all these little wrinkle lines. All right, now with his left hand done, let's go ahead and do the right hand. I do feel like the right hand's a little bit easier. I wanted to get the hard one over with, but it's very similar. Kind of goes up, comes around, and then you draw that little hand wrinkle right there, and then three more fingers, same way, starts on the palm, goes up, hot dog shape, back down to the circle of his palm, and then another hot dog to the line of the fan, back down, and then one last finger right there at the end of the palm. Not too bad. When you start off with those simple blue shapes, it's a lot easier than just trying to draw it, the, the, just looking at it. Like, it's always harder. But So it's easier when you break it down to the simple shapes, draw those fans and stuff. really helps you draw and makes you think, 
make sure things are in proportion. All right, now we got all the hard stuff out of the way. Hands, face are done. I'm going to start drawing Gus's shirt. So right out of his head, there's like a little line. And then there's like a fold of his shirt. And it kind of goes up, comes around, kind of like a, it's like a hill. And then another little hill of his shirt. And then it kind of just has another hill that goes down and over to his other arm. I'm going to kind of just draw that. I'm just looking at it. Nice, simple curve shapes. And then he's got a little uh, a C shape for his sleeve, for his, his other arm. And then his shirt is done. All right, now for Gus Gus's foot that's up here sticking up, it has basically that same kidney shape. The only difference is, is right there at the tip, there's a little nub right there. It's kind of like his sock or his shoe is too big, and it looks kind of like a little hot dog shape. So I'm going to draw that little hot dog shape and then draw the shapes around it. I want to try to copy that little white shape that I see in between the red shoe and then that blue line. All right, I'm going to try to recreate those shapes the best I can. And obviously, you know, we're going to erase some of these guidelines here in a little bit. But I'm using those little negative space shapes that I see that I drew. All right, now let's go ahead and draw the line of his belly. Kind of goes over, and then that little weird leg shape that he has kind of just goes down. And then comes from the other part of his shirt. Like right there that where the blue line meets his shirt kind of just curves to the right a little bit and draw that. And then his shoe on it, that he's standing on, it has two little weird lines. Like it's kind of like a little hill shape, and then like a little uh, small little bowl shape. So I don't know what's really going on. Some kind of like uh, lumpy sock, I guess. But I'm just gonna draw it the way I see it. All right, and with that, I basically got all of the major shapes out of the way. I do need to go and darken all my lines, and then. Um, after I darken on the lines and I erase it, then I probably will draw his whiskers. I didn't forget, and um, I guess I can't see his tail. Maybe he's too, he's too round and we can't see his tail, but I'll draw his whiskers as soon as I clean it up just because they're just uh, four little lines and then draw his little chin too that's left. But I, I want to kind of erase some of this stuff first, but I'll darken things in. I'll speed this up, and uh, let's see what this looks like. All right, I think it looks pretty good. And so that means let's start erasing all these unwanted lines. Remember, if you want to, you can go over with a Sharpie, and then you can color it in with uh, watercolor paint or crowns or color pencil. You know, whatever supplies you have uh, hanging around. You can just leave it black and white, too. I, I like a good pencil drawing myself, uh, but I definitely want to clean up all these unwanted lines and all my sketchy, really light lines. So I hope you guys were drawing lightly, like I, I mentioned at the beginning, because it always makes erasing a lot easier because it always stinks when you go to erase a line and you can still see it. And you're like, what's what's the point of the eraser if it doesn't erase? So let's uh, finish this up and draw the whiskers. And I think my Gus Gus is pretty cute. You know, I, I kind of honestly might like my Gus Gus drawing more than the actual one on the left from the cartoon. It just seems a little bit more rounder. The lines seem a little bit more streamlined. Like they look kind of like a wobbly maybe the lines on the left, but I think uh, our lines are a lot smoother. I, I, I'm, I like mine. It's good. Well, kiddos, I hope you had fun drawing Gus Gus. Um, make sure that you keep practicing drawing, and if you want me to feature your drawing on my e-learning video, I want you to email me a picture of your drawing of Gus Gus right here at my email address, and I will post it at the end of my video and showcase all the awesome work that you guys are doing. All right, I will see you next time on e-learning with Bro.